Hey guys, welcome back to Dad's Van. Today, I am super stoked. We finally got um, delivery of the Scopima Rib Altair two-person folding seat. Um, this has been like, this is the crux of the van uh, conversion. I've been uh, waiting for this, um, trying to get one of these for over a year. Finally got it, and so I'm really excited to take a look at this, see what it's like. And then we'll be looking at where it's going to go in the van. And the rest of the conversion kind of all centers around where this thing gets located. So big day today. I'm excited. Thanks for joining. And let's check this thing out.
All right, now I wanna go over with you a few key considerations, things that I've been drawn out on paper, thinking through, looking at measurements, trying to visualize all the way up until now. Now that I have the seat, I can check some of these measurements out. Now in my build, it was really important that I keep the platform bed that I already constructed in the back. I didn't want to lose that. Um, it's a nice construction. It works really well. So I wanted to figure out how to fit this passenger seat that folds without having to get rid of that or, or cut it short to a point where I need like a custom sized mattress. So I've left that alone. Now with this seat, one of the things that I was worried about is how do I fit this in here so that it can fold down um, this back section without hitting the platform bed. One of the things that um, I really liked about this rib altair was that it has this mechanism that allows it to slide forward. And based on my calculations, it should be able to slide forward enough so that that rear panel can pop down and then I can slide the whole thing back and it should clear that platform bed. But we're gonna find out now if that's the case. So in placing this in here, I chose to put it on the driver's side because I'm planning to build a, a small galley kitchen here by the sliding door. I've got a, a Dometic CFX 75 humongous <laughs> fridge freezer. Um, maybe a little bit too big, we'll see. Um, I've got a galley design that fits this on a slider so it'll slide out here so you can access it. One of the tricks is it's gonna be really narrow between the seat and the, and the galley. It's only gonna be about 12 inches of clearance there. Um, but that's enough uh, to stand in front of a galley kitchen and um, do some cooking. All right, so first thing we wanna check out is will this clear the platform bed? So I've got it installed here. Um, so that the front will be able to open up and uh, clear the B pillar there and still come up uh, behind the passenger seat. But in my situation, the first thing I wanna do is actually put down this rear section of the bed. So I'm gonna slide this all the way forward. As far as it goes. is right there and once I'm in that position I should be able to lower this down easily go ahead and slide it back all right that worked so that cleared the platform bed now all we need to do is open up the rest of the seat. And bingo. This is a six foot one model, 73 inches. I almost bought the 510 because I was really unsure about how it was gonna clear that platform, but it clears it. Okay, another consideration when determining where to place this thing is you're gonna to have to clear this B pillar here. Um, I don't have the cover on here now. The cover is gonna require another half inch or so of space. So I'm actually gonna to have to shift this away, which is gonna cut into the little uh, alley between the kitchen and the seat. In my case, I've also got rear passenger speaker and probably more importantly, the subwoofer, which sticks out about three quarters of an inch. So we gotta make sure we always clear that. That's probably gonna be less of an issue than this B pillar here. I had a couple other considerations I just wanted to point out when you're thinking about your layout. If you wanna be able to swivel the front driver's seat, um, 
the scopema when deployed all the way in the bed position is going to interfere. The only way you can avoid that is by installing it further back, which in my case is not going to work because I've already got this set up to a, a point where it will clear my platform bed when lowering it into bed mode as long as I have it slid forward all the way. Maybe if this was a few inches shorter, uh, we might be able to make that work, but in my case, that's just a sacrifice um, that I'm going to have to make is that if I want to swivel the front seat, I've got to raise up the Scopima uh, foot panel. All right, guys, that concludes this overview of the Rib Scopima Altair two person 86 centimeter seat. Um, I've got links in the video description for uh, the vendor where I got this product. Also, if you enjoyed this video or found it useful and helping you with your, your build, consider donating to our channel. There's a PayPal link. Um, your donations are really appreciated and help keep us motivated for making these videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and most importantly, have fun out there.